Um, this is kind of a, I guess, call to action, not for anything personal, just for uh, what I think might work. Uh, one of the things, one of the chiropractors that I admire greatly is a man named Scott Walker. He's uh, um, done so many advancements in in my profession. Now, there are chiropractors who say he's not a damn chiropractor because he doesn't do this and he doesn't do that, but that really doesn't matter. Uh, Scott has created a system that really, really works, and one of the things that apparently a bunch of he and his uh, people in his network did uh, went to New York when the Twin Towers came down just to assist people, just to help them through, deal with the emotional aspects of it, and see if they could make people's lives easier. Uh, if you're a chiropractor... And if you're in one of the big cities that has this Occupy movement going on, why don't you go donate some time? Pick up your little portable table, dust it off. It's in a corner someplace. Um, dust it off, carry it down there, and see if you can help some of the or assist some of these people. I hate the word help. Help, I've said for years, uh, my book, Noticing Fixes More Than Fixing, is supposed to have on the spine what it's about, you know, self-help and stuff like that, a cookbook or whatever because they put chicken soup for the soul in the cookbook session because it didn't have that on at first. But what I've always said is I want to put beyond help because my book is for those people who have done every self-help thing that they know how to do and they look around and thought, shit, it should be better than this. My life could be better than this. But they don't know how to get there. I don't know how to get you there. You know how to get you there, but you've forgotten the mechanism and oftentimes I can show you that mechanism on how to get there. But I digress. Well, yet again, I can't. I don't even know what I was... If you're a chiropractor and you've got a table and you've got some time, you know, go down to the Occupy place. See if you can make these, enhance these people's lives. All of you want to do that. Oh, it's what we want to do. Don't go to work on their symptoms. Go to see if you can enhance their vitality, enhance their lives so that they can do this thing with relative ease and relative uh, vitality and uh, get this occupational thing done. <laughs> occupational thing. Um, and that's just a a suggestion. Uh, there, all apparently, in one weekend, these things went from 800 to 1500 cities. So there's a good chance there's one near you if you're in a large city. And I just think it would. I it, I think that what they're doing is great. I think they're fighting the system that we as chiropractors have been fighting for a hundred years now. Every time you turn around, there's some medical study that says chiropractic is not good for you or it's a panacea, it doesn't do anything at all for you, right? Uh, and these studies are not founded, they have no basis in truth. There was one that claims that we cause strokes, and there's people have more strokes at a beauty parlor than at a chiropractor's. And we know what the pressures are, we know a system that is so corrupt. Um, I used a sense of touch instrument for years called a toughness instrument, and the federal government sent me a real nasty letter and told me all of the things that were going to happen if I didn't send that back, which I did, by the way, for using a sense of touch instrument, an instrument that hurt nobody. So they're up against the system. The 1% are up against the system that is corrupt and not working, that has been attacking the profession for years. Give a few adjustments, enhance people's lives assist them getting through this so that we can see if we can change things just by doing nothing.